Hi all. I've got this uh, backup beeper I want to put on my truck. And uh, just to read through some of this here. Wolo. Wolo is the uh, brand name. It's a model BA-500. Easy to install. It's an intelligent backup beeper. And what it does is it's a powerful self-adjusting warning sound when vehicle is in reverse. So the intelligent part is if there's a lot of sound outside the beeper is louder. If it's real quiet like four o'clock in the morning the beep isn't as loud. Okay. So let's see here. Uh, Self-adjusting warning sound that is five decibels above the ambient noise up to 112 dB. So like a rock band is 120 dB. Uh, airplane taking off is 120 dB. dB for decibels. So It says here five decibels above the ambient noise. So it says here five decibels above the ambient noise. So if the noise outside is 80 decibels, then the backup beeper will be 85 decibels. I guess that's what they're saying. So. Powerful beeping warning sound when vehicle is in reverse. Ideal for trucks, buses, industrial, and construction equipment. Automatically adjust to voltage range. 12 volt to 48 volts. So, I'm not e an electrician, but I think that's uh, like a car or a pickup truck. Battery is 12 volts. I think that's what they're saying there. Uh, State-of-the-art electronics sealed in epoxy to protect against moisture and vibration. So that's the actual unit. Reinforced plastic housing and universal mounting bracket. Okay, so there really isn't much to it. Uh, I've got it sitting here on the counter. What I did was I hooked it up to a battery charger just to make sure it works. And the only thing coming off the beeper is a black wire and a red wire. So hot and black. So uh, I talked to the tech at the factory. Uh, I, don't, I don't know what I did with the directions here around here somewhere. But uh, there was an 800 number on the directions. Probably got it in my pile of papers. Here on the directions, I think there's an 800 number. Yeah. 888 550 Four six seven six. So I just called them and talked to a tech. And uh, what I want to do is just hook it up to a to a toggle switch and turn it off and on. I, I want to put it on my snow plow. And I'm thinking whenever I'm plowing, I just want the beeper to stay on whether I'm going forward or backward. So I've heard or I think I read somewhere online that commercial vehicles have to have a backup beeper. So I don't know exactly what the laws are in my state. That's what I wanted to check on. But the way I'm going to install this is just one hot wire 
go into the switch, go into a simple off on switch, and then ground wire. Okay. So just to show you what I got going on here, this is the this is the black and it just goes over to a wire here, goes right down to the black here. And then the tricky one, and it's really not that tricky, it's simple, it's just red. And I got it going into a fuse. Just a simple car fuse, 5 amp. That goes in to one side of the uh, off-on switch. And then the power comes out here and it goes over to the red. Okay, so I'll go ahead and turn this on. Nothing blew up, so I guess we're good. So, let's see here. So, just in case I don't have it wired up good, I'm just going to grab it with these. And then flip the switch. So now that I know it works, I'll go ahead and put it on the truck. Let's go ahead and read through these. Okay, so here they're saying a one amp fuse. Okay. Okay, so I just bought these at a parts store. And it's just assorted ones. There's a there's only one one amp fuse. It, it was the only place I could find one amps. Uh, you can find them on Amazon, but I had to buy the whole pack, which which is no big deal. It's nice to have around. So there's a one amp fuse. And then the uh, the fuse holder. ATO heavy duty inline fuse holder with cover. So I'll put that underneath the dash. That may be way too big than what I needed. The wire was really thick. The toggle switch, chrome toggle switch. I wanted something big that if I was still had my gloves on I could I could easily flip it. And then these will go on the battery. Okay. So we'll go up to the computer. I'll scan this in and we'll read it on the computer screen. And then we'll go out and install it. Okay, so just to take a closer look at it. really not much to it just those two wires I guess you can mount it like that Pretty heavy duty. This is open. And 
see this here's open, but there's a uh, there's like some little round black cover in there. They want you to mount it somewhere where it won't get dirty. It says here mounting. Select a location at the rear of the vehicle that will permit the alarm sound to be unobstructed. Also, the mounting location should provide protection from wet conditions and possible impact to the alarm. The alarm's front grille should be mounted facing the targeted hazard area of the vehicle. Mount the alarm at an approximate height of four feet above the ground. Okay, so let's go outside and see if we can find a spot for it. Okay, so uh, I think I'm going to put it right here. That's where I tried to put it last year, but it was cold and rainy and snowy and it just didn't work. So then uh, I can drop the wire right down and it'll just follow along the bottom of the truck. Same place I got the wire for the loops. And then I'll bring it up inside here. And it'll come up by the battery. And then I can run it along here and along there. Same as the lights that I put in. And then it will go inside that hole there. There's a big hole right there where I can get inside, inside the uh, cab. So that's the plan. I thought about putting it on top of here, maybe inside, maybe inside along the side of the toolbox, so it wouldn't get wet, but then it would be right by my head the whole time, and that doesn't sound like fun, and uh, I planned on Installing it right behind the back tire here, but uh, I don't see a spot where I can mount it. If I get up in there, there there's nothing I can bolt it to. Bolt it to the top of the bed, I guess. That might be an idea. It's not supposed to get wet, but uh, I'd rather have it there. I suppose that's the bottom of the bed. One piece of sheet metal. Then the wire would just follow the frame. And I could bring it right up into the, the engine compartment down there.
Okay, well, we'll see how it goes here. Okay, so I got a piece of wire with some loom around it. I'm going to stick it through that hole there. So, what I'm going to do is use a driveway marker. Stick it through the hole. Then, then I'm going to use a driveway marker. I can stick it through the hole. Holes, the hole's right there. There's a big hole. It, it came with the truck. It was there. break nothing else. It goes right down to where the gas pedal is. Okay, so uh, there's the cord. And then uh, I think I'm just going to put the toggle switch on here. I don't really need that much wire. But, uh, I gave myself plenty of wire to play around with. See those other two switches here? We got the wires in front here. Okay. And then I wrapped up about 20 feet, 15 feet of wire here in loom. there and then just follow that beam back that big square beam there
just a lot of guesswork. But uh, managed in the right spot there. So. Okay, so here's the wire. Goes into the cab there and then just drops down here. See that right here. And uh, I'll try and figure out some place to uh, put some zip ties on it to anchor it. Okay, so I got that wire, goes up into there, drops down there, and then uh, it comes down through here, and then it's just, uh, it's in that black room there. And I just used 12 gauge wire and I wired it right onto the frame. It just, fo just follows the frame back. And then back around the tire. You can see it, see it right here. Just go just goes around the tire. And toward the back. Under the back bumper, this comes out here. See, see, it comes over the tire there, behind the spring, behind the spring there. And uh, I'm gonna put the backup beeper right there on the bottom of the bed. I'm hoping it can take a little water, but uh, I don't think that gets built up with snow. If it breaks, I'll move it and get another one. So, see, I got it wired on on it here. Okay. Okay. So now I'm gonna solder the wires. It's just a. Uh, 
it's on already, it's still hot. So just spark it with this. That starts it up. And then just the let me flip this over. Heat up the wire and then just touch the side to it. Okay. That's hot for a while, so don't set it on nothing. It's got this little stand there. Prop it up. Okay, so I ended up mounting it up there. I just drilled two holes and put a couple galvanized bolts in there. And then you can see that white stuff that's a grillacock. I put a little grillacock on the nuts so they wouldn't come loose. Drilling through the bed was actually fairly easy, but uh, I had to drill on the flat parts. That's why the uh, beeper's angled, because uh, when I hit the angled parts with the drill, it, it would make a hole, so, okay.